fight's got a ticket and stamp to the Hall of Fame. It's supremacy at 175 pounds. The universally recognized light heavyweight champion, Sergei Kovalev, versus former super middleweight king, Andre Ward. Very seldom in the sport of boxing do you get two pound for pound fighters facing each other, let alone two top five pound for pound fighters facing each other. In fact, I think it's only the third time since we've been talking about pound for pound fighters that two guys this close have met both in the prime of their careers, both unbeaten. Sergey Kovalev has been one of the most dominant champions in all of boxing. He has that uh, mystique going uh, for him. The ability to knock you out with either hand. Uh, Kovalev is actually a, a good boxer too, uh, but he is a puncher boxer, not a boxer puncher, because it all starts with him and usually ends with the power. Andre Ward is about as versatile a, a, as it gets. He doesn't do any one thing great, but he does every damn thing very good. We talk about Floyd hypnotizing opponents. Well, uh, Andre hypnotizes you. And he has this uh, ability to hit you, and then as, at the same time, he's making a move to take away your stuff. I think that with Kovalev, something that could be underappreciated is the way he sets up, you know, his power punches, especially that the right hand. Uh, he will go to the body with it, and that would that sets up the head shots, but also those body shots when he hits you with it, even his jab hurts you. Andre Ward's not a power puncher. What he does is he's a sharp puncher, he's an accurate puncher, but he's also, he doesn't lose many rounds. To, to Andre, the whole body what's legal is his target. He tries to hit anything that's available, and sometimes he's hitting something with the idea on setting something else up, or hitting a guy you know, in the elbow over three or four rounds so that that arm will come down and then bring over perhaps a, a shot over the top. Everything is with a purpose. So Sergey Kovalev, I'm asked about his, his defense, is it improving? He's a better fighter, but you know what his defense is? His offense. When a guy fights a guy like Kovalev, they're instinctively doing what? They're going backwards. They're not coming forward against him. His whole thing is, is that power puts a guy on the defense, which ends up becoming his best defense. Andre Ward's a, a terrific defensive fighter. First off, it's about the DLT, distance, leverage, and timing. His feet are so important to his game. He thinks, and he told me this when we did the uh, the in-ring, he thinks with his feet first. Most fighters are thinking, you know, hands and arms first. He's thinking feet first. Get my feet in position to be able to properly throw the, the punch, to not be off balance, to be stabilized for not only when I hit, but for whatever is gonna come back to me. If there's a glaring weakness for Andre Ward, I haven't seen it, but, but perhaps that, that's it. We haven't seen much of him. He hasn't been fighting four times in three years. When you talk about a weakness with a fighter like Kovalev, I, I don't, we don't know if he has one. What we will find out on the 19th about Kovalev is I think his heart, fighting on the biggest stage against his best opponent. What Kovalev needs to do to win this fight Saturday night is early and often make Andre feel the power to fight a lot like he did against the great Bernard Hopkins. To keep Andre on the outside with the left and turn that right hand over to the body Oh, and, and, to the, and obviously to the head. To make him feel something like, wow, nobody's ever hit me like this. What Andre Ward needs to do is immediately cut the distance. I call it 
to skillfully bum rush the puncher. And what I mean by that is when Kovalev's on the outside, either before he throws the left or after he throws the, 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 the left and before he can time the right, you got to get in position and get in on him and take away to gum up, to nullify, to thwart that tremendous power. When you get inside, you got to stay inside until the referee comes and breaks you. Andre Ward is one of the best fighters in the world with one free arm. By the way, it may not be and probably won't be fireworks. If it is fireworks, we can figure out which guy wants it to be like that. It, it, it's Kovalev. If it's, you know, a strategic uh, chess match, that's the kind of fight Andre Ward wants it to be. All the intangibles, everything, activity, the game-changing power, more natural, light heavyweight, everything tells you Kovalev. So I'm picking Andre Ward to win the fight. And the reason so is I'm picking simply the guy that I think is the better fighter. He's a better fighter. The bottom line, if Andre Ward stays upright, he wins the fight. So it's Kovalev Ward, Saturday night from the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, and on HBO pay-per-view, 50-50, about as good as it gets in boxing. Enjoy the fights, everybody.